One thing I get a lot of requests for are super simple and easy keto dishes, but at the same time, they gotta be delicious. Just because it's easy doesn't mean it's great. Well, today, I've got one that's great. I think y'all like my wife's recipes better than mine anyway, and this is one of hers. I mean, her lemon dessert video got way more views than any of my other stuff, so I see how it is. But that's okay, because then when she makes me one while I'm cooking other stuff, I can just remind her how much everybody loves that recipe, and it makes her smile. And me too, because the more she smiles, the more of these desserts I get. Anyway, this one is not a dessert. This is one of the best keto appetizers. It only has five ingredients. And a lot of times it's not just an appetizer for us, it's an entire meal. Let me show you how easy it is to make right after this. So this appetizer slash meal slash whatever you wanna make it for comes together so fast. You may have all these things in the fridge already and if you do, then go ahead and whip some up now cause you're gonna love it and you're gonna make it again and again just like we do. Now I didn't show this variation in there, but one other thing that we do, you can wrap these things with bacon and cook them also. I mean, if you like bacon. If you don't, we probably can't be friends. Cause I think everybody loves bacon. Anyway, let's just get right to it. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy this is. Let me know if you make it and let me know if you want some other quick and easy keto dishes like this in the future. This is what you're gonna need to put together these easy stuffed peppers. The first thing you're gonna need is a bag of these mini sweet peppers. Now, you could use jalapenos if you're real adventurous, but I wouldn't recommend it. These sweet peppers make this delicious. Then get yourself some good ground beef, and my favorite is this 8515 from Aldi. And it's grass-fed. You're gonna need some cream cheese, again from Aldi. You're gonna need a nice onion. I love these Vidalia sweet onions from my neighbors down in Georgia. And then we just need some super simple seasonings. We're gonna use salt. So either use the pink Himalayan sea salt like this or the Redmond's real salt. You're gonna need some black pepper. You can do fine ground or coarse ground, whichever you prefer. You're gonna need a little bit of Italian seasoning. And this is my favorite from Badia. You're gonna need your favorite all-purpose seasoning or y'all purpose seasoning if you wanna kick it up just a little bit. And you're gonna need some sharp cheddar cheese, again, from Aldi. It's pretty much where I get about everything I can find there. Then just get yourself a nice pan and go ahead and preheat that to medium heat because we're gonna start browning our ground beef here in just a minute. So go ahead and let that ground beef start cooking and let's prepare these mini sweet peppers. Now you can do these a couple different ways, but either way, you wanna cut the ends off of these and we're just gonna get the things out of the middle. So you can stuff them just like this and just kind of scrape the guts out of them. Or what we like to do is just cut them all the way in half and then put that filling on top of it because you can really pile it up if you put them down flat like this. You'll get a lot more meat on it than if you stuff it inside the pepper. So just get all those cut in half and we'll be ready to start prepping the onion. So I'm gonna take this beautiful Vidalia sweet onion. I'm gonna take the ends off I'm gonna put half in the fridge to use in something else. Now usually I'll use my little chopper tool that I love so much, but this time I'm just gonna show you my knife skills and just dice this up. Pretty small and you can even mince it if you want. Just depends on how much you like onion. I like little bitty chunks in mine. And then once you get that onion chopped up the way you like it, just throw it right in with that ground beef that's cooking on the stove. We're gonna let it all cook together, get real happy, get acquainted together in there, and just spread some great flavor throughout. Now while that meat and onion mixture is working, this is what I'm talking about with the guts of these peppers. I'm just gonna cut out as much of that white stuff as I can. Now this is not as important as if it were jalapeno peppers, because there ain't nothing hot in here. but. I like to get all the seeds out because I don't like those things getting stuck in my teeth. And I just like to cut out the little white part just to get that peppery goodness prepared to get that ground beef and onion on it. Now, we're gonna go into the oven. I'm gonna put this thing up to 375 degrees. And I'm just gonna lay out all these peppers onto a parchment paper lined baking sheet because they're gonna get topped 
and they're going to get baked and they're going to get delicious. So that ground beef and that onion is working real good over there, but we got to get this cream cheese ready to go in with it. Because it ain't a party without the cream cheese. Now I'm going to go ahead and shred my cheddar. This is what we're going to top it with once we got all the other stuff together. Oh man, this is going to be good. Now I'm going to go ahead and start working the meat. Looks like it's about done to me. Just get that onion translucent. Get that meat nice and cooked the way you like it. And then we'll take it off and we're going to add in that cream cheese. Now, if you like appetizers that can be meals like this one and you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down there, click the bell next to it, and any time I do a video like this, you'll know about it. Now that the cream cheese is in, just let it melt down a little bit, and hey, once you start stirring it up, it ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but man, it sure is delicious. You just put more cheese on top to hide that color if you don't like it. Don't bother me. But I'm going to go ahead and season it up with some salt, a little bit of black pepper, fresh cracked of course, and then just let all those flavors work in there together. And this is the point too where if you don't put in that all-purpose seasoning or whatever your other seasoning that you like is, go ahead and add that in at the same time and just stir it up till it's real well combined like this. And now let's put it right on top of these sweet peppers. So just put it on there like that. You can pile it up as high as you want. Just remember, you're gonna have cheese on top of it to hold it down, so don't worry. Oh, did I just hear a request for some pepper stuff and music? Hey, I'm always happy to oblige. And after you get done stuffing them, this is what it looks like. Oh man, that don't even make sense how good these things look. Why do you try them? They're absolutely delicious. But now we got to go in. It's time to finish these things up to go in the oven. So we're going to throw this cheddar cheese right on top. You can use as much or as little as you like, but if you use a lot of meat, put a lot of cheese on there just to hold it in place. Man, check out these beauties. These bad boys are ready to take a ride right into the oven. Here we go. And I told you it was going to be quick and easy. So just set your timer to 10 minutes. That's all it's going to take until these delicious pieces of goodness are on the table. And here we go. After 10 minutes, this is what they look like. Man, I am telling you what, these things are absolutely delicious. Now, the way I like to do it is I'll put these on a plate. I got one more little finisher that I like to use. And in my opinion, it's the best hot sauce that they make. It's this smoky chipotle pepper sauce from Tabasco. Oh man, I'm telling you, that just gives it the proper finish that you're going to want. Just make it look as pretty as you want to. That's the best I could do. And man, these are great. Man, let me know in the comments if you love this after you make it. We think it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to leave a video right over here for you that YouTube thinks you're going to like. So let me know if you do. Thanks for sharing these videos, all your comments, all your likes. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.